And here we are at Circuit City, and, and you thought they went out of business. Okay, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, cell phones. And let me start with this here. Uh, I, I purchased this cell phone in Nokia. It's just a, it was a basic uh, cell phone. And here's the, the charger. I bought this in 2009, that's the box. I bought this and it's I paid one thousand seven hundred and seventy pesos and I bought it in Cebu in 2009 and I had it since then it came with a, a book and it only did uh, text and phone calls but unfortunately, I lost it uh, a few days ago, and it was uh, it was black and white, black and white screen. It was a real good cell phone, so I figured, well, I'm going to buy another one, and I bought this one here, and it says on the let's see, here it is here. Bought this one. It has a few more features on it. Let's see, it has, uh, oh, touch screen. No, it's not a touch screen. It's, it's got like a camera capability and it is, and video also. But let's see, you do messages and talk on the phone. Now, it's not as good a quality phone as the one I had, and it when I went to, I uh, bought it at uh, Circuit City, and let me see, here it is here. As you can see right here, I bought it at Circuit City in the mall, and it says on the box. 990 pesos and I thought well if I paid 1700 for the other one then that might be a decent price and I asked them at Circuit City you know if the um, if it came with a SIM card and they said yeah it did I said okay great go and then they said well if you buy it without a SIM card We'll sell it to you for 500 pesos. And I thought, well, that sounds like a pretty good deal. So I paid 500 pesos for it. And I bought a SIM card uh, for 40 pesos at, at Globe. Here's the SIM card deal here. Globe. But, and here's the charger. And boy, they sure don't give you very much cord. As compared to the Nokia, this cord here. See how long that is? Wow, it's like three feet. This is maybe a foot. And unfortunately, these these uh, chargers aren't <coughs> don't work. It, this one won't work on the new one. But I have a phone that I used in the U.S. And it's a, a, Sam's, uh, a Samsung, but it's not compatible with uh, the Philippines. Now I took this phone to, I think it was um, Smart, and they said they wanted something like 5,000 5, pesos or something like that to convert it to, a, uh, to the Philippine use. But I decided I'll just keep this one. If, you know, if I go back to the U.S., I'll just use this. And it's a uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy S3. I've had it since um, 2012. But the interesting thing is, is, it still shows up on the clock. It, but I don't, I don't have any 
anything hooked up to it, not from the U.S. or or here. It's just uh, uh, it's it's not activated at all. But I'd like to get something like this for the Philippines instead of this thing here. Uh, but um, I'm not sure what's the best way to go, and I'm open for suggestions for that. And I think that's it. Uh, one thing, one thing else I found out is that you can, I said in an earlier video you couldn't do this, but you can indeed get uh, rolls of 10 peso coins. They come in rolls of 100 pesos. So this is like uh, five, five rolls, 500 pesos. And that's about it.